Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will explain you how to become an AWS Community Builder and what are the benefits of this program. Whether you are a newbie on AWS or an experienced AWS engineer who is interested in using services to build some complex systems, this is the program that you have to watch out for. From free AWS credits to certification ochers, this program offers a lot of benefits to its community builders. So please watch this video till the end because I'm going to share the complete program benefits as well as the roadmap to become the next community builders. What are the benefits? Let's talk about it first. Every community builder gets a $500 AWS credit. This is the first benefit. So why you need this $500 AWS credit? Most of you already know it. So all the AWS services are not free. There are some free tier AWS services, but let's say you want to build some complex systems. You want to build a three tier architecture or you want to use load balancers, NAT gateways. They don't come for free of cost, right? And many AWS learners find it very difficult to use these services because of this reason. So if you are a community builder, because you get $500 AWS credit, you can use all the AWS services or most of the AWS services without thinking about the costing because $500 credit is a huge amount. Second benefit, the certification vouchers. These days, cloud certifications are in demand. You might be seeing most of the people doing AWS cloud practitioner or AWS uh, solution architect associate certifications. And these certifications are not for free. Let's say you don't want to spend on these certifications. If you become a community builder, you get to do one certification for free of cost. And this is a very important benefit if you are interested in certifications. Then the third benefit is you get one year free access to Cloud Academy. So again, Cloud Academy is a learning platform where you have a lot of training material to learn Cloud Platform. So there, you can interactively learn about the cloud platform and you can learn about different services the cloud platforms are offering. So if anyone is interested in learning, then again, this is a very important benefit. Apart from that, community builders get some cool swags, right? So these are some of the swags, uh, but uh, these are not all the swags. I just have two of them handy. So I'm just showing it to you. But apart from this, you get a lot of swags, stickers, uh, some cool swags, uh, toolkits. So all of these things you get as community builder. And uh, apart from this, there are other benefits. Uh, let's say you want to attend any AWS uh, uh, reinvent uh, kind of events. So you get a discount. Uh, this time they were offering 43% discount. Uh, probably next time also they would offer the same thing because the last time also it is 43%. So if you are in the US and you want to attend reinvent, uh, you know, you get 43%, which is quite significant uh, if you are interested in these events. Apart from this, if you ask me, what is the major benefit is you get early access to AWS services. For example, the generative AI service, which was recently launched, community builders had an early access to this service where you can play with this service before it is generally available to common public, right? And you also have uh, contacts within the community builders. So there is a Slack community. Uh, you are blocked somewhere or you want to talk to uh, some of other community builders to uh, understand their point of view on a service. So you get all of these things, which are uh, very cool benefits, right? Uh, you have people who can answer your questions. You have people uh, with whom you can discuss these kind of issues. So these are the program benefits. But now comes the important thing. But Abhishek, how do I become a community builder, right? So one thing is how do you apply for a community builder? But the second thing is how do you become eligible for it, right? So firstly, I'll explain how do you apply for it? So there is a link in the description, uh, which is a uh, link to joining the AWS community builder waitlist because community builder program accepts new community builders twice a year. One is in the January. I mean, the uh, applications are taken once in January and uh, uh, the second time is in the July. So you have to wait for January. Uh, you can join the waitlist using the link in the description. 
and you have to submit your profile where they'll ask you some questions which are related to your contributions to aws so this is what i'm talking about the eligibility right so okay abhishek there is a link in the description i'm waiting for it in january when the uh, actual applications are taken what should i do to get selected as a community builder now this is very important right to get selected as a community builder you have to make some contributions to aws contributions does not mean you have to make some code uh, changes to aws or you know you have to submit some pull request to aws it's not like that here contributions is promoting aws within the community for example i think one of the major reasons that i was chosen as a community builder is my contribution through the youtube i made a aws zero to hero playlist which was 30 days aws zero to hero playlist and that received almost like 3 million views right which is a significant contribution but that's not the only source that is uh, taken as a eligibility criteria you can write blogs you can use medium as a platform you can use hashnode as a platform right let's say i'll give you a very uh, small tip if you are interested in this program what you can do is right from today write one blog on aws service per week so this is october you have almost three months of time like uh, let's say you have 12 weeks of time so at least if you write one or two blogs per week that would be some 20 blogs on different aws services and if your aws blogs are reaching to good number of people you can use hashnode as a platform hashnode is free of cost right you can write 20 aws blogs and uh, you can share those blogs on linkedin and people will go to your hash node, they'll read the blogs and they, if they appreciate your blogs, then you can submit these 20 links in the form. So when, when uh, you know, you get the actual form in January, you have to provide details such as your name, your email address and your contributions. There you can put these 20 links uh, saying that these are the blogs that I've written and uh, which are very liked uh, by different people in the community. So I think I am eligible for the community builder and they'll go through those blogs and if they like it then you will be the next community builder but this is an easy way to become a community builder so use this as a tip and uh, probably write some blogs or if you have a youtube channel you can also make some videos but make sure that they are very relevant and make sure that they are useful to other people if you just waste your time using chat gpt or something if you just try to get some resources and if you just try to dump it on the hash node or on your youtube channel that will not be that much useful so whatever you are trying to do do it genuinely and uh, you know uh, try to write whatever you feel about those services how you use those services how uh, people who want to start with aws how can they use that service so these kind of things if you share on your hash node or medium or youtube channel i think that will be uh, one of the easiest ways to become a community builder so this is a video uh, that I wanted to share and this is a very, very beneficial program because like I told you, many people stop their learning because they don't have credits or many people want to do certifications, but they don't, but they can't do because of the cost. They don't have right platforms to learn. Cloud Academy is a good platform. Of course, there are YouTube channels like our YouTube channel has a playlist, but apart from that, if you want to learn beyond a particular channel, right? These are some of the benefits that program offers. So why not try and become a community builder for the next year? Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you feel that this video is useful some, for someone in your community, please try to share this video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. See you.